Hello there, second graders at Greater Lake Trobe School District. Today we're going to have a lesson that focuses on shape. We're going to be talking about the two basic kinds of shape. First, organic shapes and next, geometric shapes. If you take a look at this box and the shapes inside, those are considered organic shapes. Organic shapes are shapes found in nature. They are irregular and you can't easily name them. So if I were to look at these organic shapes, uh, this leaf shape, for example, is a shape that I would find in nature. This maybe looks like a piece of coral or something you would find under the sea. Again, because of all the curves and the twists and because we find it in nature, those are organic shapes. Conversely, we have geometric shapes. These shapes are more exact. These are shapes that we can measure. And these are shapes that we can easily name. So looking in this box, the geometric shapes, of course I can say this is a circle. Here is a square, right? They're easily named and I could measure them easily if I have my ruler here. That's another clue to tell me it's a geometric shape. So you're going to be doing a shape collage drawing, which means you're going to be using different kinds of shapes in a basic drawing. And we're going to be inspired today by one of my favorite French artists. His name is Henri Matisse. And he was often known for his use of shape and color. He was also known as an artist who painted with scissors because he was able to cut his brightly colored paper into the various shapes and then collage them all together. So you're going to start out with a blank paper. You could start your drawing with a pencil. And after the pencil, I would recommend outlining everything with a dark color if you have it on hand, either a black Sharpie or maybe you have some Crayola markers. And I want you to use a variety of geometric and organic shapes in your drawing. You can see that these shapes are rather curvy and these would be considered organic because I basically made them up and they are something that I created not easily named. However, I do have some rectangles here which are geometric shapes and I've arranged them in a way that kind of keeps my eye moving around the paper. Usually a good design is one that keeps your eye moving and traveling around and keeps your eye entertained. I'm just now coming back in with some color. I happen to have some oil pastels here, but again, you could do uh, whatever you have on hand. Maybe it's just a black and white drawing, depends on what you have. Either way, you'll be able to draw and explore both organic and geometric shapes and the work of Matisse. If you want to look him up, the last name is spelled M-A-T-I-S-S-E. -S -S -E. Thank you very much, second grade. Enjoy your collage.